Yo, chat, what's good? How are we doing tonight, everybody? It's a Monday. No Mondays, right? Is there anyone that actually likes Mondays? Because not only, you know, did I have to wake up today, it's already a downer. I got, I got rained on, okay? So, like, I was just minding my own business, you know? I was just vibing. I, I didn't look at the weather forecast today. That's probably what did me in. Um, I went to my calc class. It was, like, a little bit later in the afternoon. Um, and, you know, I, I go in there, you know, and it's bright, sunny. There's not a cloud in the damn sky, you know? It, it, it's just a wonderful day, you know, beautiful as shit. And I go in, I do my class, I come out, and by the front door, there's just like a wall of people standing there. And the reason why they're standing there, instead of fucking going outside, is because it is pouring. I mean, it's just a sheet of water just falling from the sky over and over again, just all outside, man. It was entirely, it was just insane. It was absurd. The entire place was just pouring. And me and my little dumbass self, you know, I don't have the foresight for it, I guess. I didn't put, like, an umbrella in my bag. So I'm standing there, you know, there are these other people. I guess they're just as fucked as me, you know, they don't have umbrellas. There's some people that are going out with their umbrellas, you know, people are going out with, like, friends and stuff like that. It was just me. I'm standing there, an asshole, without an umbrella. And I was like, oh my god, okay. It's like... 10 it's like five minutes from my class to the student center and then another 10 minutes from the student center to my dorm room that means that's like 15 minutes of walking so i was like you know what I'm not staying here for like the next three or so hours you know i'm just gonna i'm gonna go for it right it can't be that bad surely surely not you know maybe i'm water repellent you know i, I surely I'll, I'll be fine I was fucking wrong, you know? I'm walking my way down the street, you know? I'm, like, only a few minutes into this walk, and I am moist. I am just absolutely drenched. It should have zoomed? Oh, oh, I did zoom. I, I hiked up my little backpack. I grabbed my straps, and, like, I tightened them up and everything. I was, like, running, you know? But no, it didn't matter. That rain just dropped on me. I got back to my dorm room, you know, after having to tread through everything. I got all the way back here. I left a trail of water through the entire building behind me. <laughs> and, you know, I got back and I look at my shirt, you know, and it's stuck to my body. And, like, I pull it off and the entire thing is soaked, you know? And I'm like, oh, I've got to take this out and dry myself off. And I go into the bathroom and I take off my shirt, you know, and I'm like, all right, whatever. And I, like, just drop it. And it hits the ground and goes, <laughs> just fucking smacks against it. It's a giant wet slap. The thing weighed, like, five extra pounds because of all the water it soaked up. And I was like, god damn. I, like, tried hanging it shower rack it didn't dry like at all you know every single bit of my clothes you know i got drenched down to my socks chat all the way down to my damn socks <laughs> it was really fucking funny <laughs> it's uh, you know it's like i got dunked in a dunk tank man all right it's like i just got surged and it was fucking it's so funny so yeah that was how my day went you know i just get caught in the middle of a storm that came out of nowhere it was like three seconds and it was on top of me also thank you judge judy slayer for the follow you followed while i was getting my stuff ready do you live near where the hurricane is i actually am not keeping track um of where the hurricane is i know it's near the coast i'm a little bit of ways from it i think maybe i just slept all day nice i wish i could have lesson learned to always bring an umbrella yeah you think i'm never not gonna bring an umbrella someone's gonna be like dude it's like a two percent chance of rain today and i'll be like no 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 i'm not taking the risk <laughs> it's near louisiana now i'm fine but uh, let's see let's uh i didn't get to say hey to everybody so let's um let's go back through everything hello andre fied arky what's good arky hi queen lina midnight sky river cat pet flame versailles kai Man, all back to back. You guys all just want one after the other. That makes that really easy. Hello, boys. Hi, Raven. Wolfie Girl 2005 killed the other 2004 ones. <laughs> you dissected a squid. How did I miss that? That's pretty gnarly. Um, when was the last time I dissected a squid? Oh, hello, Dragon. Don't think I missed you. 
And Queen, I'll say hi to Queen, just in case I didn't already. But yeah. Uh, fucking, well, I remember, um, I went on a field trip to some, like, botanical garden, right? And as part of that field trip, because it was a science field trip, they allowed us to, like, dissect squid. But for some reason, there was just something about the fucking squid, you know? I, I think it was all the ammonia or whatever, right? It was making me really, really nauseous. And so, you know, and I'm already a pretty uneasy person, you know? And so, like, you know, I'm sitting down there, I'm getting ready to, like, my table mate is a fucking serial killer man's ripped the squid apart with his bare hand. Ugh! Fucking psychos. Anyway, so I'm like sitting there and I'm like getting ready to dissect the squid. I'm like really queasy when Derek's call me Wolfie again. <laughs> and I'm just chilling. And uh, I'm like, you know, I'm already not feeling great. And I'm like not eager to cut into something. And I was like, hey, there's no like blood in this or anything, right? Like there's no fluid. And they were like, no, 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 and it's like, okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. Easy, easy peasy, you know, easy. It's not a big deal. And so I'm sitting there, I'm getting ready, you know, I'm, I'm cutting into it. I'm following their instructions. At one point, they're like, you got to stab into the eye, you know, you got to cut something out of the eye. So I was like, okay, I'll stab into the eye. I put my scalpel down into the eye and I just, a fountain, I mean, just a straight vertical rocket of fluid just out of nowhere just shoot straight up, up my hand, like, you know, with my gloves on and everything. It just shoots up. It just comes out of nowhere. I was already like this, like the scent was like horrible in there, you know, and then that rocketed up and that introduced a brand new scent. I was gone. I swear to God. I swear to God. Not even kidding, chat. Second that happened, I stood up and I walked out of the building. I, like the teacher that was with us on the field trip had to come out after me to make sure that I was okay because I felt like I was going to vomit. And I just chilled outside for like 10 minutes because it was so horrible. I dissected a pig a few months ago. Oh, yeah. Sad. Like the little tiny pigs. Yeah. Remember that? Um, you want me to think if no? Yeah biology classes man but what's uh i yeah i dissected a frog like way early on too i think it was like seventh or something um but i know like the last thing i ever dissected um uh, it wasn't the squid i haven't dissected anything in college um i think it was in high school Not too sure um we had to dissect a sheep eye very specific thing um and that one wasn't that bad pretty much a bit bloodthirsty fair warning Wow, I could never. The blood makes me queasy. Thank you for the hug, Flame. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure, she, like, if you just beg, it can get out of it. Like, I've never seen it be, like, a mandatory thing. Or even if it was, it was just, like, a daily grade. What are you studying in college? I don't know yet. I really don't know. I'm currently undeclared. I'm experimenting around. I'm thinking about going into an English major because I do enjoy writing, if that isn't obvious, by me working on Mythos um, with Candy. Um, but I really do enjoy writing, so I'm thinking of going something like that oriented. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I am a nerd. Um, but I know, I, I just remember, like, when I dissected that sheep eye, one of the things that, like, I pulled out, because you needed to take out every single piece, yeah, um, was the lens. It was, like, this hard piece that was, like, a genuine lens, and I wanted to keep it. They wouldn't let me. But I thought it was so cool. I thought it was really cool. I can handle blood if it's my own, but that's a different story. Dude, I can barely handle my own blood. If it's outside of me, something's wrong. <laughs> but yeah. This is my my, my take. See, so, yeah, now that we got all that out of the way, the, the, the dissecting stories, we're going to jump over to the live stream. Hopefully without any problems. Let me stare at my phone to make sure. What is this of a teacher's and eyes? <laughs> Shout out to my freshman bio teacher. Let me keep the bones from an owl pellet lab. What? That's so crazy. That's fucking nutty. Wow. I remember like, I was like, I was like that lens out and there was like, a and I was like, damn. But I like put it in my pocket for a second because I really thought about doing it. And then I was like, nah, I don't have, I don't have the balls to actually rob. You know, so it's whatever. That is not Mythos Rex. Yeah, right, right. So, you know, if you ever believe that there's not a distinction between me and my character, then uh, there there it is. <laughs> the proof's in the pudding right there. <laughs> Rex skin. Hey, thank you for catching that. <laughs> I might do a return to Windcraft. I've been interested in it, um, and I haven't played it. I think it's really fun, but I just solo play it. 
So yeah. Let's go. All right. Well, we are. Never mind. I'm frozen. <laughs> We're not gonna go yet. We gotta turn off my mini map because I hate. Um, I forgot I put that sign there that just says no touch on my chest. I swear we had more light in this room, but I guess Kathy broke it. Kind of annoying. Whatever. We'll put a candle. There we go. That helps a bit. I just started playing it, got terribly lost. Yeah, no, it's fun. It really is fun. Um, there's a map on their website that you can kind of use to help you out. And um, every single like side quest, or most of them at the very least, they got coordinates somewhere to go. So, yeah. But um, we're here. So, uh, for the agenda today, I have an idea. A very loose idea. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, we're going to have to go to East Haven for it, though, which means we need to run straight over to Ankar. I'm not sure if we have anything we need in Mythos right now. I obviously can't think of anything we need to do in Mythos right now. I can think of a few things that we need to do, like find Kane. For now, we're just going to lag our way over to Onkar and handle one thing that I've been thinking about for a hot second. I had a few discussions uh, with some people off stream, so today should be slightly interesting. It's like we're gonna be like you know anything too crazy, <laughs> but uh, it should be intriguing. It should be intriguing based on what I have planned. So hope you're ready for this reveal chat. There's an idea lag. Are we there yet? One year we'll be there. Imagine being able to run it. I loaded it once and I could never get on again. F yeah, it's a fat mood. My computer can barely handle this right now. I cannot wait till I can get an upgrade, which I'm hoping to get one by the end of the year. And if that does happen, chat, like, oh, oh, nothing can stop me. Nothing. I've already got the external equipment. This is my PC is an ancient piece of shit. The case is literally falling off on it. I'm not sure if I ever got to talk about that. When I moved my computer over for, um... Yeah, right? Um, when I moved my computer over from my, uh, home place, why is, why is there just a what the f anyway um for my actual home to my dorm um like when i took it out of the box like a bunch of stuff broke like and all the pins they broke off of my face plates right because like it has like these plastic like face plates on it and, like on the front and like on a bit of the top you know where the power button and other stuff is those broke off so they like barely hang on right now there's a single one that didn't break off you know and that one's still in but the rest of it's broken off if i want to move like my computer anywhere i really need to just like get a new case for it but i'm thinking that honestly i'd rather just get a new computer hopefully like during the winter and then when i want to deal with this one just take all the parts out of it put them in like containers and stuff like that you know so i just have the parts because this case genuinely it is just a part no way is it a rex yeah it's me baby um but other than that um, i think the most horrifying thing that happened to me well the second most horrifying was um when i popped it open please stop lagging um all of my hard drives, like, they sat in, like, trays, you know? They were all, like, neatly stacked and stuff like that. All of them fell out. Um, the casing that they were held inside within my case, you know, the container that they were inside was bent out of shape so they don't properly sit in there anymore. If I nudge my computer too much, they're going to fall over again. But whatever, fuck it. They're still plugged in. The thing that scared me the most, chat, the thing that scared me the absolute most, all right? My GPU, my graphics card, all right? The, the, my, my video card, the thing that allows me to even run this decently was bent. Bent. I mean, there was a curve to it. The curve to that card, that card was curved. It was bent, chat. I don't know how to express that any further. There was a piece of it, all right? Like, there was the one part that fit into the slot. That was straight. The bottom part was bent. It was bent. And so I'm like, computer and killed it it's dead it's an actual corpse it's a body I, it's but no um i took it out of its um out of its little slot and i looked at it for a bit and then i realized things had slipped out so i i bent it back into place and then i put it back in my computer and obviously it still works um so yeah that wasn't that wasn't a fun time that was genuinely horrifying um so yeah Another problem that I had that I think I fixed was um, my computer would randomly shut off, just 
randomly for no reason um really bad yesterday kept doing it back to back to back to back like when i was booting it up like middle of booting it up it would do it again and it would keep doing it i guess it's the same thing wolf left um but then i realized that it wasn't that bad uh, i have my power supply running into a um power strip that had like a surge protector in it and i think the surge protector is either faulty or just running to a power strip is a bad idea um because something was fucking up with the power was fluctuating occasionally so i just plugged it into the wall and i haven't had a problem since so if it ever happens again that means i solved it if it does happen again I, then i can go back to panicking but we're fine for now look at that horse its head is just tweaking out god damn but no yeah we're fine but jesus christ was having you know, i mean that graphic card it's not bad so a uh, nvidia 1050 ti right so i mean it isn't like the best but it's not the worst but it, you know it, 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 it most definitely doesn't come cheap it's not easy to replace so like you know broken for shizzle I, that's it i would have just been over it would have been dg for me chat like i don't know how to make that any clearer it would have been the end for me all right we're gonna set this to death because i don't feel like waiting out in the dark here and there's a bed in here Is there a bed in here? There's a bed in here. Poor horse. That horse has more strokes than Rex. Yeah, he's, he's tweaking out. He's having a seizure. Um, Based on the time that it's not going today, someone didn't turn on daylight cycle. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you actually serious? There's no way. Are you fucking... We're about to have to wait until it's... <gasps> Don't do this to me. There we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like two people logged on right as we were trying to do it, and that screwed us over. Um, but yeah. Are Rex's pants still fucked up? Uh, yeah, it's not a big deal. Why blame me for the horse? Oh, because it's, it's freaking out. Yeah, mine is sus because of the horse. <laughs> hey Rex, are you running around with half-destroyed pants? Hey Rex, I haven't gotten new pants, my homie. You're right, I should be talking to Donnie. Oh god, Donnie's gonna hate me at this rate. Hey, how about we go do that? <laughs> Let's see if Donnie has anything to say about my pants. <laughs> you know, of all the things I had on my priority list, I can't say that one even crossed my mind. My bad. <laughs> wait this way oh shit wait i have all my magic stuff why didn't you get say anything come on shake my head please stop freezing i am i'm begging you actually are we allowed in the city with magic things now because we um are a guild i know that comes with a bunch of advantages i don't remember if one of them is being able to carry around most of my stuff with me i know i can have this my focus pouch and my gauntlet but pack i'm not sure haven we gotta we gotta freeze every time we load in a single district <laughs> Let's see. Donnie's place is right around the corner over here. I'm glad that they still haven't fixed the fence or the um dummy <laughs> that's in the middle of the That's refreshing. Donnie's definitely not home, which means he's probably next door. There's key. We're frozen. Hey, Rick, can you give me the opposite of these words? Always coming from take me down. Never going to give you the f <laughs> I like that. Yeah, lag, right? It's always this part. It's because we got to load in like a billion skins that are all lined up here. And there's also the museum right there. Um, But hey, Adani, you got anything to know you sure shit don't? We'll come back another day and I will be expecting some new pants. Wait, didn't really get a good angle. Pants! There we are. <laughs> Who took the frames? Lina. Come on, guys. Head in the game. You gotta remember who's sus around these parts. Are those loaded in? Yeah, so that's where we froze. Um, wait, never mind. We're still freezing? Nah. 
So now we just need to get over to the guild hall. People are screaming right now. I don't hear it anymore. Okay. <laughs> Please tell stream not to die. Why is stream dying? Shake my head. Knock it off. I'm watching you. Nice. Okay, we're good. Doggy. Okay, I think we're here now. Alright, let's get up. Let me just crack my fingies. I expected more idiots to be here, but um, I guess I'm wrong. Like, hello wrong. So, whatever. Because there aren't idiots here. It'll just be a, a, a Rex adventure. <laughs> Don't correct me. Don't be wrong. Factually correct, yeah. Factually accurate. Did I miss anything? Uh, nah, we were just chilling. Did we ever pay the blood of members? Shh, 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 shh. That'll come eventually. But now let's get to work. Okay. Let's start with uh, Cecile. A young woman is cleaning some glasses behind the bar. The jacket's still around her. Additionally, she appears to have gotten a skirt tag for her outfit, making her appear far less revealing. She seems much more comfortable in this wear as well, as she has a soft smile on her face and a bit more perkiness in her fluffy rabbit ears. She notices you and gives you a respectful nod. Hey, Cecile. Hello, boss man. She gives you a small grin as her tail twitches. She places the glass down on the counter, sparkling clean, now giving you her full attention. Did you need something? Okay, uh, it's about time that I show you all something about Blood Oath. She raises her eyebrow in, earn in interest. She takes walks around the counter, her heels clicking across the ground as she sits down in one of the chairs, leaning forward a bit and resting her elbows on her knees. Something to show me in regards to the guild. She considers the statement for a moment in interest. I can't help but be a bit confused, Rex. You notice the statue, right? Hmm? She follows your gaze to look toward the statue in the corner of the guild hall, standing on the golden block. Naturally, I've noticed it. I merely supposed that it was some form of mascot or something. A mere statue for decorative purposes that helps to identify the guild for what it is. What are you attempting to say that it is? Go touch it and find out. Just, um, try picturing a, uh, grove underground and then open your eyes. She seems skeptical of your instructions, remaining where she's seated for now. You wish for me to touch the statue and think of an underground grove. What is the purpose of that? Is this some form of hazing ritual or, or a guild blessing? I don't understand. Look, just trust me. Go do it. She stares for a moment before sighing and standing. She walks over to the statue in the corner and hesitantly closes her eyes, placing a hand on the statue's shoulder. In a shine of light, her form vanishes and is transported elsewhere. One down. Hello there, my golem bud. Everyone's favorite golem. Lina, don't call yourself out like that. There are no idiots, only clowns. We thought it was a pretty good dig. <laughs> hey, Geo. A golem sits patiently next to the stairs. He appears to have a small book with him that he's writing in quickly. You can see steam almost rising from his hand with how fast he is writing. His mechanisms hiss and whistle, and he quickly stops, looking at his hand. He gets a small and subtle frown on his face, setting the pen and book down and waving his hand off, cooling it. Uh, try looking alive, Geo. I'm afraid such an order is impossible for me. I am incapable of looking more alive than I already do. He looks up at you and stands, bowing respectfully. Welcome back to the Blood Oath Guild Hall, Guild Leader. You have been absent from this location for over a week. While normally I would precisely outline your absence with a live timer, I have been asked by Mr. Lofton to cease from using such a thing against others, as it causes a number of less than favorable side effects such as anger, exhaustion, insecurity, anxiety, 
Thank you, Geo. I think I got it. I got a job for you. As a member of the Guild of Blood Oath, it is my duty and within my programming's parameters to complete whatever orders you have for me. Might I inquire on what this job entails? You seen the statue in the corner, Geo? Geo doesn't look toward the statue, merely nodding to affirm a confirmation of your question. I have indeed noticed the statue in the corner of the guild hall. I have noticed such a statue for a number of weeks now, and I have additionally observed that you have utilized this statue for some form of transportation. However, as I was not permitted to do so by my programming, which prevents me from acting of my own fruition via curiosity, I have not investigated the statue myself. Okay, well consider this, um, your official part and you're free to investigate it. Go touch the statue and imagine- Apologies for interrupting, but I am rather confused. Imagine. What does that refer to? I have heard several individuals say such a word, including Mr. Lofton. However, even his explanations are rather confusing for me to explain. Picture a grove. D do you have pictures of groves in your program? Indeed. I have thousands of images gifted to me from my f error rephrasing. His eyes darken for a moment, and once again he appears to be dialing up before he returns to normal and continues his previous statement differently. I have thousands of images gifted to me from the Harvard family utilizing Kanishio crystals. They donated a number of their own mental imagery into my database in order to allow me to better understand the world around me without needing to learn of it myself. Just picture a grove and touch the statue, okay? Order processed and received. Gio would bow to you before immediately walking over to the statue. He would follow your directions exactly, placing a hand on the statue's head. It would take several moments before something would happen. In a shine of light, his form vanishes and is transported elsewhere. Decided to attempt to watch this and survive in Minecraft? Possibly. Good luck. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Grim. What's good? The man sits at the tables near the kitchen, swirling some scotch around in a small glass. He stares at the liquid as it creates a tiny whirlpool before sighing. He hears you approaching, his pointed ears twitching, and he would qu quickly turn in your direction curiously. Boss is back in town, I see. You've been gone for quite a bit. Any news on jobs? Not exactly. I'd rather show you something that I've kept secret about this guild. Man stares at you with slight interest, twinkling in his otherwise empty eyes. He continues to swirl the drink around and then glass in his hands before he would set the glass down and lean forward, resting his elbows on the table. What's the situation? I'm talking about the statue in the corner. Knowing exactly what you're talking about, Grim toward, turns toward the hybrid statue of Kai. He looks back at you and shivers a bit. If I'm being honest, the statue has always given me the creeps. When did it get there? What does it mean? Do you know? Yeah, you could say the... Wait, why, wait, why does it give you the creeps? Sometimes, if you're near it for too long, you can hear a voice coming from it, asking if anyone can hear them. Not to mention it feels... alive. There's a perk to being part of King Mantis's royal battalion, and that is gaining the ability to sense oncoming enemies. You had to be quick and precise. We were protecting a king, after all. It wasn't a job we took lightly. So when I say that, when I sit near that thing and I can almost sense the presence of a living being in its place, I'm not messing around. Okay, well you're gonna have to start getting used to that. And now, I need you to go over and touch that statue. Huh. Oh. He blinks in confusion at your request. Wait a second. Why do you want that exactly, Rex? What's this about? Oh, just trust me. Touch the statue. And think of a grove. He stares at you in disbelief before sitting back. This is an order, isn't it? 
He groans, taking a last sip from his shot glass and emptying it of liquid. He stands up from his seat, giving you one last skeptical look. As you continue to egg him on, he eventually, although slowly as if ready for anything, walks over to the statue. He puts a single hand on the statue's arm and closes his eyes to imagine what you instructed him to. You can see that the rest of his body is tense and ready. In a shine of light, his form vanishes, and he is transported elsewhere. Okie dokie. That's all, pretend we didn't see the floating soul gem. Yeah, I don't, I, they don't exist yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Then that leaves a couple more. <laughs> A.O.B. The young bear animan is upstairs with the armor racks, messing with one of the nearby swords. She holds it clumsily, frowning at the weapon. She waves it around loosely, but eventually ends up dropping it. She obviously has a little experience with a sword. She watches it clatter to the ground and quickly drops to retrieve it from the ground and return it to its previous pedestal. As you walk up the stairs and leans against a nearby table, acting like nothing happened. Hey there, Chief! Look, B, focus. I have a job for you. Really? Her ears perk up quickly, and she straightens herself. She gets an excited grin on her face, and you can see her obviously... You can see her obviously pumping her legs up and down, allowing her to jog in place in her excitement and anticipation. A job? For me? Again? <laughs> awesome! What is it? Is it a fight? A monster? Something having to do with messing with the royals again? Don't leave me hanging, man! I haven't had my fix yet today and I'm hyper! Look, have you noticed a statue downstairs? Hmm? Statue? She gets a confused look and skips down the stairs past you, jumping a couple of steps and skidding to a halt on the ground floor. She looks around and notices the hybrid statue of Kai in the corner. Oh, what the hell? When did that get there? Wait, don't tell me this is a prank, huh? One of the ones that North Star and Fori always pull on one another? I'll smash that thing to pieces if you want me to! Do not smash! Touch it. I just want you to touch it. Touch it? She looks between you and the statue in confusion. Is this like... A test of obedience? Sure, look, just touch the statue and imagine an underground gro grove, alright? Do that. Should have known you would have tested my abilities to follow rules. All right, touch the statue, imagine a grove. Touch the statue, imagine a grove. Touch the statue, imagine a grove. Simple enough, I can do that. She slowly walks over to the statue and follows your instructions to a T. She places a hand on the statue's shoulder and closes her eyes, imagining the grove as you told her to. In a shine of light, her form vanishes and is transported elsewhere. Drugs be as great. <laughs> Oh, welcome back. And, uh, one more, because the other one is unaccounted for. <clears throat> Sup, Rose? The woman leans against a wall upstairs, a book in her hand. She appears to be adjusting the screws in her leg as she reads it. As you approach closer, you would notice that the book is almost a manual to deconstruct her leg completely and then reconstruct it. <gasps> I had a burp. Wait, I have another one. <laughs> Ugh, okay, there we go. She finishes messing with some screws and wiping down the metal before she would eventually move to reattach the leg into the metal ring and holes that bind the two together. She seems to have a darker look on her face, and she's hesitating, jogging her organic leg anxiously. You you good, Roz? Oh, hey, buddy! <laughs> her smile fades slightly. You've never seen her with this kind of face. Hey, um, could you help me out really quick? She motions to her stump in her mechanical leg with a shaky smile, laughing nervously as if to hide something. Is something wrong? Eh, I'm just... not a fan of this part. You see all those spiked parts of the line with the holes and this ring on my leg? Those basically create a magical attachment between me and my legs that I can use like any other leg. I, I, I guess you could say that those metal spikes attach the nerves. It's not the most pleasant experience. E even if it doesn't take th all that long, I could just use some help actually doing it. Uh, got it. Yeah. Okay, sure. I'll help. As you walk over to Roz and kneel down, you notice that this is the first time she's looked unhappy and nervous. Given how she described it, it reminds you of getting a shot in your world. Not the most pleasant experience, even if it's short-lived. She repairs herself as you take her mechanical leg into your hands. It's surprisingly lightweight for being made entirely of metal. You line up the spikes with the holes in her leg, and quickly, as to speed up the process for her, connect the piece to her leg. 
She winces in pain for a moment, kicking her legs up and down to release her energy before quickly calming down again. Oh man, that sucks every time. Yeah, well, believe me, I know the feeling. Well, kind of. I doubt it, but I appreciate you trying to understand at the very least. <laughs> she stands up and hops a bit, moving her mechanical leg around to get used to it again. She stretches, touching her toes and bringing her knee and leg up to a 90 degree angle, looking at you confused. Haven't seen you around for a bit, you know, Rex. You better not be trying to get out of town. You can't get rid of me that easily, bud. Fuck, something came up. But I'm back now. And there's something I need to show you. Ooh. Sounds exclusive and festive, alright. What's up, dude? It's about the statue downstairs. Oh, yeah. I remember seeing that thing whenever I walked in or out. It's the uh, weird hybrid statue in the corner near the door, right? What's up with that thing? I'll let you find out for yourself. I want you to go touch it and picture a grove. And the context for this assignment is... None. Just do it. I'm offended that you don't think I don't trust you at this point. <laughs> all right, I'll do it. Just give me a second to get used to this lag, all right? A couple minutes and I'll touch your weird pure demon statue for you, dude. Just better do something cool like alleviate stress or something, because if it does nothing and I'm just standing around like an asshole touching a statue, I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah, right, sure. All right, just, just, tr just, just touch it, all right? Trust me and touch it. <sighs> I think that's almost everyone accounted for. Five out of six from the East Haven branch. So that's that. We should probably go meet them on the other side. Make sure that everything went okay and they're not tweaking out too bad right now. Because I imagine the experience must be jarring. So let's find out. Oh yeah, I forgot. I hope they made their way down okay. He's just dead in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Doors open, so it seems like they at least figured out how to do that one. And they definitely made it. Sweet. Ah, shit, I forgot that needs to be easy access. We'll fix that at some point. Welcome, fellas. What do you think? Young Golem looks around curiously, his eyes seemingly glowing as he attempts to catalog the sites as best he can for future reference. This location is not registered in any of my world maps or databases. Its existence, according to my programming, is impossible. Where am I? Welcome to the Grove, Geo. This is Blood Oath. And, you know, it's all Blood Oath property. The Grove. I am... Confused. I have not heard of such a location. Our coordinates suggest that we remain in Teramos, but there are no records of a grove or isle existing in this region. In fact, we are in the middle of a rather large ocean. There should only be water in this region. How did you manage to create a place such as this? The geographical markings of this location states that the rock formations and caverns have existed for decades, Perhaps centuries, yet my programming states that this place has not existed in the past hundred years. Yo, this place was a surprise to us too. It was a gift. The fiber of this gift must have been incredible powers to suddenly transport an entire location into the ocean without my records picking up on its existence. Additionally... The atmosphere of this region is unlike any other I have experienced. I have much to research in this location in order to gain the proper amount of information to understand this grove's existence. However, unfortunately, I cannot remain here long. If I am missing from East Haven for more than ten minutes, a tracker within my body shall activate and inform the Harvard family of my location. Don't let that one happen. This place is a top secret, understand? Order received. I shall remain here for exactly 8 minutes and 20 seconds to ensure that the location remains a secret from the Harvard family and others. Good. Then you have 8 minutes and 
less than 20 seconds to take a look around. Look at the fucking in-game chat, what are they doing? Who knows, it's something about clown? Wow. Anyway, what's up, Roz? A young woman walks in a bit late, limping slightly on her mechanical leg. Her eyes grow as large as saucers as she looks around the place. Whoa, this place is so big! How did you find this place? I didn't find it. Someone gave it to Blood Oath. Whoever gave it must be pretty rich and just give away an island. I wouldn't mind having them pay for a new arm or leg for me. <laughs> Your eyes follow the paths that split and branch off in every different level of the grove in amazement. It's way too much to process here, dude. Okay, you'll get used to it. Apparently you do. How long have you known about this place, huh? It's... Been a long time by now, yeah. I'm hurt that you never showed it to me sooner. You had to show it to me on a day where I detached my leg and it made me sad and bitchy. I can't just tell people about this place, Roz. It's a secret. Eh, don't sweat it. I understand. If normal people knew about a place as big as this, I bet you would get all sorts of people who try to move in or something like that. Be sworn by unwanted visitors, and knowing your great people skills, it's not exactly at the top of your priorities list, is it? <laughs> Look, it's not just that. Bloth has a lot of enemies, and we can't afford to let them find this place. Everyone has enemies, and everyone has secrets. Alongside all of your other ones, consider this one safe with me too, alright? <laughs> That's what friends are for, after all. Well, friends and guildmates, actually. Take a look around if you want. This place belongs to Blood Oath, so it's your stomping ground too now. I like the way you think with that one. <laughs> I gotta admit, there's a certain technological corner that's caught my eye already. But okay, in case something belongs to someone, don't touch it, Roz. No promises, but I'll give it my best shot. Hey, you could totally make me a blacksmith corner or something, you know? I totally make your guild that unbreakable armor I patented now that I know exactly how to do it. Just Food for thought, though. See you around, Rex. See you around, Ross. There's <laughs> spamming clown in the chat. Have they finished? Yeah, they finished. I wonder what they're doing. Probably something lame. Anyway, we've got three all right here. We're gonna have to hunt down. There's Grim. Oh god, where's B? Oh, she's right there. Okay, I was getting worried. <laughs> That's up, Cecile. B is the last one I want unaccounted for. All of these other ones, I feel like they're responsible enough to keep it under locks, but she, she might break something in the process. Hey, right, what's up, Cecile? Cecile looks around the grove in amazement. What is this place? It's, it's beautiful. I can't say I've ever seen anything like it. Well, welcome to the grove, Cecile. So this place, does it all of it belong to Blood Oath? Yep. This grove. The entire island above it is all blood of the property. <laughs> she gets a small grin on her face, laughing si slightly to herself. You know, most of the time when a guild is new in town, they do not have much money or land to their name. Most new guilds have to build themselves from the ground up, but you... Your blood oath is an enigma, isn't it? Yeah, you'll get used to it. I hope to. When I say enigma, I, I don't mean it in a bad way. Her eyes move about the area, looking around the entire area carefully. These houses. I assume people live in the grove? Yeah, some people prefer to live down here, yeah. That's one of the many reasons why it has to stay secret. She looks around further with interest. She walks toward the tree that hovers in the center of the entire area. This tree... Her tail twitches slightly at the side of the tree, before she would eventually just stand back again. There are magical properties to this entire grove. It feels so familiar, almost like my original home among my people. The energy feels safe and protected, I, I believe. I would like to look around more, if that is permitted. Knock yourself off. Knock yourself off? I'm sure, knock yourself out. Go ahead. <laughs> She gives you a small smile and a bit of a wink as she, before slowly walking away from the area completely, looking up and around at the tree branches and the paths that spiral around the giant caverns. Okay. Uh, we'll talk to B and then we'll get to Grim. Wolf is blood of stuff at this point. Accurate, yeah. 
Wowie, this place is massive! V runs around, obviously filled with energy. She looks up at the tree in the center and the water running down from it into the small pool below. Hey, do you think it's possible to swim up that waterfall? You can sure shit try it. She gets a grin on her face, charging forward and splashing into the water. She waits over to the waterfall and attempts to use her own raw strength to pull herself up the rushing water. It would take her a moment, but eventually her strength would prevail over the water and she would grab hold of the floating island, pulling herself up quickly and shaking herself off to dry. This place is amazing! What is it all? Welcome to the grove, B. Suddenly the branches on the tree would sway and the all too familiar blonde form of wolf jumps down from the tree, quickly apprehending B, sliding his dagger out of its hilt and holding it in a threatening manner at her. Answer my questions quickly and you won't die. Who the hell are you and what are you doing down here? He says in a low tone. Whoa, what the hell? I can ask you the same thing, pal! B would actually retaliate, quickly stomping down on his foot and attempting to simultaneously elbow him back off of her. Of her. her strength clearly leaves nothing up to the imagination as Wolf quickly avoids her attacks, vanishing into his own realm and reappearing quickly. God fucking damn it, Wolf! They both stop and look down at you. They look back at each other and then look back at you. Don't tell me he's one of yours. Rex? Wolf says with a conflicted expression. B, go, go peek around. Talk with him. Alright, don't tell anyone about this place. Don't worry, I get it. I got it when you said that, Blood Oath, that this was Blood Oath property. Can't exactly have the other guilds knowing it exists, or Wilkins, for that matter. Imagine the taxes. Eh, I just shiver thinking about it. I'm out. Enjoy your chat, or whatever. The bear animal glares at Wolf, giving him the I got my eyes on you gesture before jumping back down in the pool below to explore. Meanwhile, Wolf is just staring at you. Hello, Steve. There we go. You feel it coming down? Because I'm not going up. So, um, I think I'm late on some things, but early enough for others. I hear you took charge while I was gone. Hmm. A uh, long story or short. I was comatose. Uh-huh. It wasn't exactly my choice. There's some powerful magic in this world, and one of them is apparently a curse. A curse that someone's been itching to use on me for a while. Mm-hmm. Brings in a whole new world of worries. That's why I'm trying not to think about it. Luckily... They know that it's not at least an impenetrable curse. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here right now. It is escapable. So yeah, it wasn't by my own volition. Mm, not by those individuals at the very least. I should have them dealt with. Well, at least they shouldn't bother Blood Oath anymore. I can't say much about anyone else. But yeah. I've heard. Where are you keeping him? Alright, that is our only prison cells. I heard they haven't budged. Okay. Um... I'm going to want to report as soon as you can, and with that, I will think about how to formulate my own discussion with them, because I have a bit more information that might give me some leverage. Okay. Other than that, I find your notices you put out very smart. 
especially since we've had a couple new vessels show up not too long ago. Mm hmm This is like the tenth time or something, or at least almost. Census is in girl. Whoa, I would have never guessed. Me too, believe me. Every single time a new one comes in, it's a worry for me. Because for the most part, we're all at least somewhat, you know, reasonable. But what's going to happen when one of them comes in here and they aren't? Mm-hmm. Lay it on me. Define. I've heard. What am I going to do about it? I'm not sure if there's anything I can do. She's not one of mine. She's not in her guild. She's not a part of Vanguard. She's just... I don't know how to describe it. It's like a puppy following you around everywhere. Yeah, I know. Which is a problem I gotta resolve. Can't work in that place. She forced herself in there. It's really irritating. She tried building a house in Ravenguard. And trying to figure out her angle. Yeah. Well, other than people being stupid, anything commendable? I know who captured Senseless now. Anything else worth noteworthy that I should be aware of? Mm, okay. Yeah, I've heard that. as long as they're smart decisions better not go to her head cocky lily is a dangerous one hydrate thank you oh if that's that you have five technically six but the sixth one isn't available right now new guild members recognize the people you see in here try not to stab them in the head next time they show up but feel free to stab anyone else. Mm. 
Yeesh, that's not even a question I can properly answer. They're a cloaked figure. They go by the name of Levin. I haven't seen them in action, but based on their resume, they might even be able to give you a run for your money. And before you join the Edict, at least. You were an assassin before, right? Hmm. Well, this... Eleven. They seem like the real deal. And for some reason, they're interested in blood of submission. And what we believe in. No, there's only one way to play out. Can't say I'm not suspicious. I plan on keeping a close eye on them, but... Yeah. Try not to start a fight, if you don't have to. Mm hmm Still, simply turning them away would have left me with a lot more questions than answers. Keeping them close. I can learn more that way. Alright, well, out of you, soldier. We need to find Kane. Actually, if you want to run a job for me, since you're the most capable. We have Dawn and Vanguard, but I'd like to hear back from the conglomerate. If you'd like to go pay them a visit and see if they have any new information. Alrighty. We would need to find Kane and any other greater ritualists that are in the way to finding him. Gotcha. Well, I got one more person to talk to here, so I'm gonna go do that. Hmm, what? Okay. In the alternate universe where he does what? Where he stabs me? <laughs> Yeah, let's stuck to Grimm, and then I'll go use a restroom real quick. The hardened dread, as indifferent as he attempts to keep his expression, appears to be in complete awe of the grove. What the hell? How does a place like this fit with a statue? Where are we? You're in the Blood Oath Grove, Grimm. I could assume that. How does this place exist? Are we... under the guild hall? No, this... Entire place is an isolated island. Actually, this is the central guild hall, the main one. He looks around in amazement. This entire place belongs to you and your guild as the guild hall. And members live here and train here? Yeah, that about sums it up. You like it? And the man is too shocked for words. I served the Dark King of Dramos for many generations. And through countless battles and numerous wars, I've seen things that normal people would shiver at, and I have looked into the central rift of Dramos itself when I was but a child. But even so, decades of experience could have never prepared me for a place like this. There's almost something familiar about it. The sense are so thomic and yet so unfamiliar. Well... It's free for you to explore, Grim. Just don't ever tell anyone about this place, all right? Ever. He looks at you with the most bewildered look for a moment before laughing slightly. <laughs> Rex, tell me something. Who are you? Really? A new guild in East Haven that builds into a magical place like this? An era about you like you've seen so much, but you look so young. And you and a group of friends. You're strangely kind to people like me. People who don't have much to give in return for your kindness. Just tell me. Who are you? I'm me. Not really much else to it. 
He gives you a smile and a bit of a wink before slowly walking away from the area completely, looking up and around at the tree branches and the paths that spiral around the giant caverns. Well, they're all having fun. I am going to go take a leak real quick, chat. Beer beer. Never stay lonely for long, chat. I'm back. <laughs> What's up, boys? Okay, let's... Check out the guild hall. By putting our stuff back on first, since we don't need to have it off now. I gotta turn up my Minecraft volume and just now realize it's been super quiet this whole time. <laughs> what was this one again? Oh, that's nice. And I even getting healed a little bit when i'm near it wow that's super useful nice mirror let me guess this is not flexing it it doesn't holy shit how did he pull that off i mean there's video in the ritual with the spell itself i'm impressed what the oh yeah i remember that it leads nowhere yet we got a bunch of caverns around here a lot of them lead nowhere, but it's only a matter of time before we figure out how to just take advantage of the entire place. What we need to do is get up here, I think, because we're right below where we need to be. We gotta make a streamlined way of getting up here, because right now this is impossible. There's the teenager's house. I have no idea how they scamper their way up there every day, because there's not even a proper way to get there either. Who knows? This goes to show you how resourceful they are. So, let's get moving. Maybe a staircase from the hole to the left? Maybe. We'll see. Or like a bridge like this one. It's all the way up to the guild hall. That is decorated now, chat. Well, here we are, the official motherfucking guild hall. Look at it. It doesn't look complete yet. Looks like we still got some renovating to do. But it's being built up. Looks like we got a bar with a kitchen. There's a seating area up here. We've got some big tables over there and some actual just seats right there. We've got this staircase. Leads up to some balconies and looks to be a meeting table. Damn, right underneath the skylight. More shelves, kind of like the ones we have back at East Haven. Sick glass roof, yeah. So we're still in that cavern, so you can see it on top of above us. There's the sky. Hold on, let's get back down. And then there's these doors right over there. And this must be the office of yours truly. Looks like Ava doesn't feel like coming out to play right now. Ha. Huh. Right where you belong. And then we've got a nice map. I've got a desk here. I've got... Here's our bed! Uh, some shelves that we can probably fill up with our books. Actually, we should probably do that sometime. Move them out of Raven Guard. Get them over here. Get some proper stuff set up. And we got some shelves to put stuff on. 
a bunch of shelves to put stuff on. But damn, when we when we beat the eighth, we drink ourselves to the void. Yes, indeed. Dead plant, black candle. This place has got everything. It's really coming along. This church shit looks like a main guild hall if I've ever seen one. Like, come on. Well, look at this. Whole ass building. Damn. This place is only going to keep on expanding, I guess. This grove still has many secrets, and there's stuff we can always improve on it, too. And here we are. Island just all the way east of East Haven. East and East Haven. Damn. Rex help the sun is red? How is the sun red? Dead plant, black candle, this place has got everything. I've never heard a sentence more accurately described Rex in my fucking life. <laughs> That's really good. Also, that's your own damn choice, cat. Shake my head. Shame. 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 I don't know, but the sun is red. I think there's something, like, that's an actual phenomenon. Like, that's a natural thing. But I don't remember what causes it. I remember I used to know. But, yeah, no. Nah. I think, is the sun just setting right now? You know, it's going over the horizon, so it's just red. Red sun. Red old sun. Geo, you need to get back <laughs> before that location shows up. Nice, would it transmit from here? Oh, probably would anyway. I don't think it matters. But that's that. We'll work on that easy access. We'll either, I'll either get someone to build it or I'll try to build it myself. Of just a um, wooden thing all the way up. But here we are. We're in East Haven. Can a ghost join a guild? I love ghosts. I absolutely adore ghosts. They're some of my favorite corpses to be around, you know? Dead people. And this place is so empty now. But yeah, so now they're able to access their from Teramos whenever they need to. This is this is Plutus globalization, I guess. You can <laughs> You can get to fucking <laughs> You can get to um anywhere in the entire world just through the Plutus statues. It's easy access. God damn. <laughs> you sure as shit hope so, bro. You run a city of ghosts? Yeah. I sure as shit do. Here, let's... Get moving. I have no idea where to go. What is wrong with these people? I have no idea. Wait, I don't know where they are. Whatever. We'll check a vanguard, maybe. Hopefully I won't crash. Wanna put a sign, you're out, so no one suspects anything? Nah. Nah. Because chat, in case you went there last time, I got something I gotta introduce a Lily to. Lag. Server lag. My door! Alright, there we go. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't want frames anyway, lag guard. They're gone. Like, they're actually gone. I'm frozen. Bruh, I hate the city with all of my heart. <laughs> it used to be tolerable. It's- I don't know what's happened. It's just gotten horrendous. Outright down horrendous. Oh my god. I knew Kid was helping me out in the mess hall and asked if I vaped him. Like, what the fuck? Hell no. <laughs> that was a solid 10 seconds? Yeah. Shit ass fucking city. Shit ass everything. Hold on, we're just gonna ask in chat where, because I don't know. At the portal? Wait, are they down? Here, let's go down. We're less likely to lag in the vault. I'm gonna eat my own words. Yep, we just lagged right there. Are they... this portal? This one? Yes, no? Maybe so? There's wire in. Who else is down and around? We can check on Blink. It's been a hot second. There's Blink. 
Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Yeah, temporary my ass. This is still fucking here. You never clean this sh What the fuck? They're dying the nether because Kathy's a clown. Yes, that portal. All right, we'll just sit here and wait expectantly. I'm sitting next to them and I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> oh, if they meant the aether portal, hell nah. They, they can do that one on their own. <laughs> Never mind. I want no part. Yeah, let's uh let's drop a cloud spell right there and see how that, you know. We'll just, uh, we'll drop some hellish atmosphere. You know, be really kind to them on their way out. Wait, they use that portal to go to Onkar? Oh my god, I hate these people. I'm dying? I'm dying. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Bruh. Dude, why am I not going through? All right, there we go. <laughs> Holy shit, man. You clowned yourself? Yeah, I forgot that hellish atmosphere stays that long, so it was just cooking me alive. Goddamn, spell packs a punch, genuinely. Okay. I don't need this. An on car? Is that what the uh, ghost in my ear whispered? All right, let's go catch him. Straight up. Let's go tap their asses as soon as they stop lagging. Come on, come on, ass tap, ass tap, bang. <laughs> oh my fucking god! What's taking a year? Jesus, you guys are the most dysfunctional group of people I've ever met in my entire life. My chat's having to guide me to your precise location because you're literally everywhere and nowhere. What? Discord. I, I'm just gonna restart this entire rant. My chat's having to guide me to you guys because you're the most dysfunctional group I've ever met. You're so all over the place that I cannot find a single one of you, no matter where I go. I'm sorry. We're having so many technical difficulties. My stream is lagging like crazy. Oh yeah, isn't Kathy having technical difficulties? Yeah. I've been trying to do that all day, Rex. Trust me. Wait. I've been trying to throw Kathy okay. off here. Your stream's lagging? My my stream lags too, Lily. I mean, I think it's just yeah, part of being okay, in a dorm. we'll be buddies. Because it's really bad. It just freezes randomly, and then it, like, zooms forward to, like, a completely different part. Is that your just internet? Like, no. Yeah, it's my internet. You might- you can always invest, invest in just getting yourself a personal router. Um, they don't have ethernet here. That's what? you can just invest in getting yourself a personal router. I, I didn't change anything that I just said. Oh, okay. I thought that was how you did Ethernet. Never mind then. No, no, no. I can look into it then. Yeah. You just have personal to like you know. Router. Hey, queen. What I mean welcome, by that welcome. is like fucking get your own internet. <laughs> Pay seventy bucks a month. What's an internet? I can't do tell, that tell, though. Like, I don't have the money. Use your streamer the money. Yeah, make the money. What? Well, I gotta reload skin because it's the what wrong money? friend skin. There we go. I don't what make that mean? much. Everyone's Jesus calling me Fred Archie today. I'm working. Wow. Well, I don't know. I thought that was candy typing for some reason. That is candy typing, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> Anyway, no, nah, yeah. I mean, if the internet gets really bad, um, just get your own SP. You know, if you get desperate enough, just buy it. Buy your own internet. Do what you gotta That's do, man. So I can't afford that regardless. Do what you gotta do, man. I can't reach. I can't reach either. That's why you have a Zephyr. Come on, guys. I don't have a Zephyr. Bye. Yes, have a Zephyr. I'm fine. We can go the goddamn long way. And yes, I only know where you guys are going because my chat told me. It's the only way I was gonna find you fucking guys. We were gonna come and get you! Yeah, well, you sure took your sweet ass time doing it. Okay, well, you, you know, uh, I haven't been feeling good all day. You know, my, my stomach be hurting, I can't see sometimes. I'm about to make it hurt more. Oh, 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 yeah. oh no. Is that a promise? Uh, yes. Uh... Yes! What? Oh, yeah, I know, right? Such an underwhelming reaction, Queen. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs>
<laughs> it's for the best though, trust me. Someone fucking bite me already, holy shit. How long have you guys spent in the nether? Um, long. Not that long. Shh, don't tell him. Okay, well, it's a miracle that you haven't had your asses ripped to shreds yet, so consider yourselves lucky. Wait, why did we just walk away from the tower? That is the on-car portal. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Where's the... In the way. You're right. <laughs> Into the overworld. <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Ah, ah hi. <laughs> How are you doing, Queen? Nah, it's Chill River. <laughs> fuck, fuck, get me out, get me out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm alive. No, I'm not. I'm still in it. Oh my god, get me out of this goddamn portal. Oh yeah, I'm getting rubber banded. Okay. Yeah. Why are we here? Weren't we coming here for. to look for. Re Why are we here? Oh, you have to go to East Haven, silly. Oh, I thought that- I thought we were going to East Haven to look for him. Well, now he's here. So we're going to- e I don't- I don't understand oh, this logic. So we have to go to East Haven because we have to go get the last ingredient, Rex. Uh, Everybody's the, too- last too what? For what? For the- Do you not remember? No. I'm so lost. Are they there for that? That guy right there, that Mr. Fulty, the best person in the world right next to you, uh, is uh, connected with a uh, furry here. And we need to get them separated because... Did you say Fulty's furry? Being... I heard... I heard what is furry. A fu why are you calling me <laughs> Wait, furry? Yeah, no. I clearly I... do not have fur. No offense, but I remind me why I'm here again. Because you were helping me... Oh, is this one of those things where you for Okay, I see now. No, 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 no. Rex, are you being forced into this? This was something that you wanted to do. All right, sure. Let's just get this over with. All you right. good? Yep. What? What's wrong? You don't sound good. Actually, while we're here, let's go to spawn. <laughs> uh, um, okay. Why? Oh, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it, Lily. You'll enjoy it. What does that mean? Oh, you'll that enjoy mean, it. Oh, uh, Rex, do we have to do this right now? Yes, yes, now. yes, 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 we do. Uh, um, on my way. <laughs> Good, tired, ah, oh, fair, fair. Me too, me too. Clearly not fast enough for this, but... Oh. Neither am I, don't worry. I'm slow even with all of the boosts I have. Uh, I really need to make one of those things. There's the banana trees that I stole a banana from and hit Meadow with. I want a banana. Hitting Meadow with a banana. Actually, I don't think I actually hit her with it. I'm pretty sure I dropped- Who the fuck is- Whatever. I dropped a <laughs> banana, like, on her, um, like, balcony, I think. Oh. 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 And just sneakily slipped her a banana. Wait, 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 wait. So what, what if we make it a thing where we hit each other with bananas? It's called sword fighting, Lily. What? Oh, wow. oh, no. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, no. oh, no. Hey, uh, Lily. I'm hitting you, you know with a banana. Uh, All right, I'm gonna turn off my animations before I like crash. Anyway, come in here. What's wrong? I don't see much as in me. This looks a little. Okay, well, weird. idiot. Why are you not next to me? Ow. Oh. Ah. Repurposed! Yeah, you bet your ass it's repurposed. Get in here. Oh, okay. It's a trial. Remember when you set off the alarm? Yes. You remember how I said you were going to pay? Oh, give me a second. Yes. If you ever want to get any higher than the absolute bottom of the ladder in Blood Oath, welcome to your only chance at doing that. Okay. Thank you for the follow, the Blood honors. Fang. It's not that hard, honestly. On its own, the jumps, you know, they're a bit tricky, but it's entirely tolerable. It's what comes next that's the hard part. <laughs> and I don't envy you one bit. <laughs> Is this like a now thing? Am I about to, like, instantly do this? 
I'm waiting. You're okay. 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 Do I have to empty my inventory out or? Take off your baubles. Take off your armor. Where do I put it? You have a chest. Off. Okay. I will throw it on the ground. And you don't need to throw them on it. the ground. Just don't have them. What? <laughs> I don't have- okay, I can- I can work with- oh, jeez. My inventory is a mess. Just don't have them equipped? What the fuck? You can- My inventory is like full, give me a second. Oh my god, you're the absolute worst. Your, your inventory is just full of junk. There's no way there's that- like, all that junk is that important. Let's go under your As you're holding now. a banana right now, is that banana really the difference between uh, life and death? Yes. Okay, am I allowed food? Yes. Get your ass up the damn thing. Okay, okay, okay. I'm making sure I don't have anything on. Take that off. There you go. I'm good. I'm good indeed. Go. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, okay. What the fuck? Stop. 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 <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Lally, I so, do not envy you. <laughs> you see that platform all the way up there? The one that's standing on top of these metal supports in the very middle? Yes. That's your goal. Until you're standing up on top of that, you will never get any higher in Blood Oath than where you are now. Unless you beat this on a stream, it doesn't count. Just so you know. <laughs> understood, understood. And that must always be on whenever you try. It's going to take you hours, mm -hmm. it'll take you days, maybe even weeks. Or maybe you'll just never Probably. even beat it. Oh. But I'm telling I you, will. this is the only way you will climb. So if you never beat it, you're never going to amount to anything in this guild. Capiche? Oh. Capiche? Yo, my okay. game's kind of crashing, so I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. oh, I feel so sad now. <laughs> I hate lagging. Oh my god. Jeez, everyone's fucking Hey, awesome. how's it going? It's going good. Thank you, Inglorious Texas. Text. I hope you're doing well. Okay, I need to eat. And I died. No. No. I think I understand the premise. Ow. Yeah, it gets significantly to more possible to do when multiple people are doing it. Oh, noted. Why, why is anyone I'll be else back doing... in like five minutes. <laughs> so don't be doing bad. it with multiple people. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Uh, You're done cool. here. My... You're not going to beat what? it today. You're not going to beat it tomorrow. So just call it quits for now. If I'm getting tracked along on something you are doing. Come on. Ah. Uh... Kathy? Huh? You yeah. good over there? Okay, hi. How, how are you? My frames okay, do not burn. exist oh, here. Burn. Dude, me too. Wait, right <laughs> it's me freaking too. shiny like me. Do, do, do. That's your contribution to this conversation is do, do, do. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow, <laughs> how fucking riveting, man. <laughs> Hey, 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 come here, come here, come here. What? I, I, you're walking too fast. I, you didn't give me time to put my stuff on, so I can't catch up to you, and I wanted to do something. Oh, catch up then. <sighs> what a, what a, what a person. It was about a compliment sin for doing well, and he fail. Kathy's so quiet, bro. She goes from being fucked to being dead silent. Can never so find a good middle ground. It, 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 am I too quiet now? Am I not? Like, what's going on? <laughs> it's impossible, chat. There we <laughs> go. Is that better? Oh. Hi, chat. Oh, hi, gozaimasu. Oh, oh my god, Kathy. <laughs> 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 
I'm pretty sure you only know like five Japanese phrases. Yeah, I'm about to prove this right now. Say my fish ticks are dry in Japanese right now. Why is that always the phrase you go to? That. I'm not gonna say that. My fish sticks are dry? Yeah, because you can't. You know what's wrong with the fish you're, sticks? Your mom can't. Oh. Wow. Wayo. Oh. Oh. Sorry. What if we turn Kathy all the way down? Good call, chat. Good call. Oh, oh, I like that. I like that, Rex. I like that idea. Ah, peace and quiet. <laughs> I jump in the call and the first thing I hear is my fish sticks are dry. Kathy doesn't know how to say my fish sticks are dry in Japanese and we're bullying her for it. East Haven? No, that, West Haven. Oh, I was asking because I got there and y'all were... Gone. We definitely were not gone. Unless you mean got to on car and then we were gone. In yeah, which case, where the fuck, gone. where else would we be? I wanted to double check that you didn't want to stop anywhere else. <sighs> Why did you say it like that? Because that's what you are. It's your official title. But you said it all weirdly. What? Clown. Stop, stop. Whatever that is. Don't. <laughs> Please. Do not ever, ever, <laughs> oh, ever, awesome. ever say that again. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to punch you into East Haven. How, 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 I'm trying to get rid of all my bubbles and shit. Dude, dude, dude. It, it's rude. I thought her skin was fucky wucky, aw. You know that Candy's starting to hang out with me too much when she uses the word fucky wucky. That's my fucking word for Candy. Oh, I found my God. Zephyr, guys. Stop, stop. Let me put my shit away. Stop, stop, please. Please, no, I need my money. Please, you're you get so it. Me. Dude, I'm trying. Colty. Oh, stop, stop. Uh, finally made it. Oh, oh, okay, let me put my please. stuff away. Uh... <laughs> Please, please, please. Oh, hi. <laughs> Crit her out. All right. Stop, 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 stop. Wait, what the stop. fuck? Why is there a goddamn fairy here? Who the shit? Why the sh How the- wh Hello? Hi. Ruda. Hello. I want Ruda? to follow them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Give me, give me coffee. Ow, 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 I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. My chat commanded it, oh. so I had to. No, no. I have a list of no. Oh. Oh my god, oh my god. The server's Jesus. lagging. Trying, trying. What, what, Meadow? What? Meadow? What? Meadow? 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 She's got a little Meadow. backpack on. Wait, she's got a little backpack. Guys, come look at this. Look at the fucking backpack. Look at the little yeah, backpack. Oh, look look at her fucking little backpack on her fucking back. Look at her backpack. Oh, it's so cute. Ooh, Look at that fucking please. backpack! Meadow the Explorer. Yeah, does she got a map in there? Meadow the Explorer. Can you say crispy nuts? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on, we're annoying her. Oh, okay. Goodbye, Meadow. <laughs> Look alive. Ah. Weak dodge that time. Ooh, Shake my oh, head. Oh no, why oh did lag? Oh I hate lag. Clown. Cineclown. <laughs> Clownitar. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's a banana. Are you really overreacting that much? <laughs> no, Lily's from a sword fight. <laughs> stop, keep stop. My Please. I hate East Haven so much. Clownatar. Clownatar. <laughs> Tablet died, but I back. Welcome back. The only thing scary here is your personality. I actually just realized Tara's hair kind of looks like your hair. I'm going to kill you if you ever say that again. It does so. What? Not you. I'm talking about Kathy and she my brother just gives it a sub, yo! Thanks, Josh! <laughs> yeah, yeah we're Rex. Rex, get Kathy <laughs> dead. <laughs> That's my brother, Foggers. Foggers is What do you mean? What do you mean? Didn't she call Rex that one time? I already feels Rex, yeah. 
Candy, you have to add one to the poster. Thank you. Uh, okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> uh, <Mr. Doyle. laughs> Taro. Taro. Taro? I heard you type it and then I saw it pop up in chat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to. We can go. You, you, you don't have to. Oh, hey, yes. hey oh, friend. Hello. I am not lagging, hopefully, to where I accidentally do something again. Are, are you okay? Don't tell me what to do. First, you, yes, and now sir. you. Jesus Christ, get your health uh, and check people. Yeah. Dodge that one. Um, we have to go get the herbal liquor. But. Liquor. But, uh, um. Where should we meet you when we come back? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, right. We gotta go get our stuff because we gotta go into the jungle. Uh, sweet. I'm about to run you know you're lagging paper when I hear Kathy reply to something before I even see it. Oh, wow, oh, Lily. Frank one gift or truer. He's gone. <laughs> All right. Uh, where did everyone else go? I don't know. All right, I'm leaving. I this. went back to the entrance to get my stuff out. Peace out, Rave. That's uh, probably okay. good. I do. Uh, it's like Mr. McDonald's. Yeah, Lily's got the McDonald's Wi-Fi. True. Yeah. Fucking true. That's not even funny. That's just the fucking no, truth. No, I think the McDonald's would be better. <laughs> no! Oh my god! Holy shit! Y'all are just going for the throat today. <laughs> going for the throat, and I think that's awesome. I already got clowned on. Needed to be on someone else. Fair enough. What face McDonald's? Lol, yeah! Lightly got that shit ass Wi Fi, dude. <laughs> Lily got that crappy Wi-Fi right now. It's alright though. It happens. Uh, thank you. Sob but too much to learn. What do you mean? A sabo two o one. Wasa. Wasa. But you're going back. Yeah. Well, we have to. We have to get out of here. I, I was just thinking we go over by the guild hall and then just like camp up or something. But we're not I... allowed to go in with our stuff into the city. We can just sneak it in, right? Oh. Yeah. We're not having a Lily two hundred one go back to prison. You went to prison. You've been to prison. That was what did you do? How do you think she time. lost the arm? <gasps> oh. No way! Did some ninja take it in prison? Lolly was cool. actually a, yeah. Lolly was actually a hardened criminal. You know, she a got into ninja. a few too many fights in prison. Stop! Man, I'm helping Stop. you out here. Weird. Your arm yeah, didn't come back. It. Yeah. I can't believe a ninja took it. Did you fight the ninja back? Y yeah, yeah. I I put up a real good fight. Real, real good. Oh, wow. That's crazy! It, uh, wow. It's like, like uh, you saved the fire from a baby, yeah. <laughs> Wait, does your arm have like storage for snacks? Does it have a snack? Oh, I wish it did. I really want to add one. Older? I have to figure out how. Ah. No, but I wish. I wish. I definitely do Maybe wish that. Maybe you can ask Miss to help you make a cup holder for your arm hole. She thought my ideas were stupid. Wouldn't oh. a cup holder just be your hand? But like an extra <sighs> one! Thank you so much, Meadow, for the again. raid! Mwah. Mwah. Where is Mwah. Rex? Rex! Just look for the herbal tea. But the, we were supposed to together. That's not really his style. I know, but it was... Mm. Oh, okay. little Fulty! Fulty, come back! I want to hug you! Fulty, let us out early, please. <laughs> You bet a top okay. one on your arm would mean that you literally can't tilt your arm. Oh, hi! Hi! I'm gonna have a drink in it, though. But 
and you wait, no, you can just put a lid on it. Just put a lid on it. I smell flux. Yeah, yeah, put a lid on the cup holder. You on the cup, not the cup holder. You can put it like a little. You know, you can smell flux. Right? It's in the city. Well, what's in the city? Wait, what city? Oh. What what city, Rex? There's not a lot of cities in the world. Uh, which one are we at right now? Which one did oh. we last see Rex in? Oh, he's saving! Sin for the win. <laughs> Alright, now let's go in. In the city, you say? Where? I think near Foria. Okay. Let's check it out then. Foria. Which way is Foria? This way. Uh oh. Where do they think? Right, chat? <laughs> I don't know. Why would there be flux near Foria? Aren't they not allowed to do magic here? I smell <laughs> flux. <laughs> Obviously, of Vanguard. Oh. I don't know. He's I don't know. I don't know, Miss Candy. Oh, There's for lots fuck's of sake. You're right, chat. Son of a bitch. It's not for what? you. It's in huh? Lucy's shop. In which shop? Oh please, my frames! I want them back. I died. I literally oh, died. Oh, you said. I oh, hate this part of the town. I want them all back. Oh, my frames. Slowly making his uh, way. My frames. Oh, oh the oh. second you walked near me, oh. my frames just absolutely disappeared. <laughs> my frames. Oh god, am I fucking dropping frames? I'm dropping frames yep, too now. Yep, yep. Yeah, we're, we're all vibing out here. Damn. Where's end upstairs? <sighs> what? Is this old dialogue? I cannot remember. Is this old dialogue? I think this is old dialogue. We're gonna assume that's old dialogue. It feels like old dialogue. Uh, Candy says no. No? no? Okay. Like well, let me unfreeze. Me, year. Voice. Keep an eye on that Mortalis Ramala. Ever since that strange woman you often spend time with entered the building, he's been acting quite strange. I hate that voice you gave her. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm frozen. I am frozen. I am present? <laughs> because Big did? Because Big did? I think I had to load uh, in Dusk's tentacles. Oh, let's be Nice. Ah! Hey, Dusk. Sorry. You go. This is definitely the same as last, last time. time. Yeah. You oh, just had to say the word guys. good. Oh, good. Mirror? Mir has a bit of an agitated God fucking Mir has a bit of an agitated expression as he thinks, pacing near dusk who's blissfully ignorant of everything, playing with a tool of some kind with their tentacles. Uh Mir, why are you pacing? Frozen. Oh! Good! You're back. Um okay, a couple of things, but I can probably talk about the primary reason first. Wait! He stops his pacing quickly, blinking in surprise. You're back? I thought you both were missing last time I heard. Now you're both- Damn it, why does no one ever tell me anything? He taps his foot a bit. He seems rather anxious about something. Yeah, we're back. Diff two different reasons. One a little more involuntary. What's the problem? Do you know anything about Dusk? No, 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 no. I need to know something first, because while you were gone, I did some thinking. And given some of the other shit that's walked through the door, me thinking definitely hasn't been as stable as usual, but you're going to humor me and answer me this, okay? Because if I don't get a straight answer on this, I might lose it. Dusk is still just a child. When you're not around, sometimes he crawls over that rift there and calls into it. He's not speaking words when he does that, but he is communicating in some ways. You don't think you actually took him from his family, right? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, because I guess he wouldn't know that, right? He loves near physically, beginning to pace again. Sorry if that was a weird question. I just would hate to think that we took a child from their family for our own benefit, you know? Like, maybe Dusk was never meant to be in this world. Maybe that's why we can't really understand him. Maybe... Look, we don't really have a choice anymore. We have to keep him here. Got it? Gets a bit of a surprised look on his face. No choice? I don't... I don't get it. Listen, it's a bit complicated. You, you told me that I can make my own choices now. And now you're saying that there are no choices to make. What do you mean? He tilts his head, jogging his leg quickly. Look, I don't know the situation around Dusk or why you even came back with them. But if a family somewhere in the void, isn't it at least our best interest to try and find them? If it's not to return Dusk, then it, which it should be, then shouldn't it at least be to find a better understanding of Dusk? Because let's face it, we're not getting anything new up here. Probably because we don't know anything that happens down there. What are you trying to say? I want to go into the void. Absolutely not. Why not? It's not like the void is anything new to any of us. And if you told me to look into dust, this is the only remaining option I have to look into. And maybe, just maybe, I feel a little bad about the idea that you might have kidnapped a defenseless infant for your own personal gain. He pauses, inhaling and exhaling slowly. I'm sorry for shouting. But from where I'm standing, Investigating this place of origin is always the first step in understanding something you otherwise don't understand. Isn't that... Isn't that what you did for me? Well, yes, Mira, but... The Void is incredibly dangerous, Mira. Please. I've been around in my entire adolescence, and if you've done even a small bit of thumbcraft, you've looked into a piece of the void. You're fighting the edict. If it's not going, if it's not to find out more about dusk, then think of it this way: going into the void is the only way you'll learn to understand everything that the edict does. Everything that they do, everything that Rowan does, is dictated by the void. So, wouldn't going down there and getting insight on that cult be one of your top priorities? It's still not safe for you to go in there, Mirror. All right, we can't die, but you can. His jaw tightens and he looks away, frustrated. I know that you vessels are immortal and stuff, but I still don't understand why that means I'm not allowed to take care a little, to care a little bit about your well-being, even a place like that. The void changes people, and that includes vessels. Look, it doesn't matter. We can still come back, all right? You can't. I'm frozen. Fat frozen. There we go. You can tell from his expression that there is more he wants to say, but he doesn't say anything. Instead, he just says, I understand. Okay. Mirror, I, I know it's not fair. No, but... no, no. It's fine. Um, I'll just have to find a different strategy. That's all. Mm -hmm. A different way to learn about Dusk. Um... Hey, how about you help me out with something again, okay? From this uh, next attempt at this job. His eyes are even darker purple than normal as he speaks with you. What do you need? He rushes over to a nearby desk and begins to write a list of items he needs from you. Here, there's a list of everything I'll need. I should do the trick. Uh, what is this next attempt going to be? I'll explain when you get back, just... Be careful and take your time with those ingredients, all right? Oh, and, um, Rex, at some point, could I talk to you in private? Maybe when you get back or something. Sure, let's just get this stuff now. I'll have to do it lagging the entire way because of the load in Vanguard because of you assholes. All right, there we go. We were in the nether. Oh, you went through Yeah, Vanguard. assholes. Okay. Where the fuck you guys were? Four raven feathers, a blank lesser focus, two nebulous hearts. Oh. Sounds like we're looting Cam. <laughs> However, let's get this herbal tea. Uh. Alright. 
Oh my god, if I'm gonna do it the entire time lagging though, I swear to god. Uh, uh, hey, Pokey. Anyways, is everything okay? Yeah. I you could relog maybe? I don't want to relaunch my entire game. That's like yeah, it's 15 a minutes. Minute adventure. It's like 15 no, my computer's minutes. slower now, so that would actually be more like 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm just gonna be in agonizing pain the whole time. Whatever. Let's go! Agonizing pain, Pog! Agonizing pain! Oh god, I have half the mind to just do it though. Oh my god, I have really half the mind to do it. If I'm gonna I'm close my game, to be honest, I'm I'm just gonna close it for the night. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, like, I'm that's a, I'm I'm a level. Because you have to restart your stream, and that's and there's just no point. Really I'm annoying. not using ten minutes to do that when it's already so late. I'm not. I refuse. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I get that. I think that that's gonna be my logic during the semester too. I can't restart. I might just do the mirror quest. So let's just get to the guild hall. And I'll go across. I walked into a food. Oh, oh hi, Meadow. Welcome to chat. I hope you're enjoying the slideshow. I'm pretty sure you had this no. yourself, yeah? Yeah. Oh, trust me. Meadow was suffering. It was really sad. I'm so sorry, Meadow. You bought more RAM, though, so hopefully that'll get there soon. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, the RAM will help Meadow. a lot. Yeah. Well, um, I won't say it'll help a lot, but I think the RAM will help a bit. Well, that solved a lot of my issues. I don't really have problems in game. All of my issues. Dog, right now I got are like seven, almost eight k memory allocated. It, 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 it's yeah, it's not the issue. <laughs> Why is there a uh, jump on what? the ground? Not pink, no. Why is there a what on the ground? There's this like a dummy. jumping dummy in the middle of the road. Oh, um, that was from Pierce, the bear what? Percy. Uh, he wanted to try out a, a thing, and he kind of got angry. Oh, lovely. <laughs> that was a yeah. nice hit. Oh my god. Sorry I'm late. I've been soon for a while. Hey, don't worry. You're at the laggy portion of the stream where I've had to load in like five different cities, and it was not the move. It doesn't make it better, but your voice just got like really distorted really when you said that. Wow. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I didn't say shut, I said wah. No, I, I read chat. Oh, okay. I didn't oh my god, wait, me. this might actually kill me. Trying to get up in Vanguard might actually kill me. I went to every city, fight me, Rex, yeah. Yeah, fat mood. Oh god, I know what you mean. It's just, the easy way of killing yourself is Vanguard. Because it's all HD skins. Mm. I've used... Oh wow, I'm using more than I usually do, shit. Okay. That might be why your oh, stream's lagging. Dude, wait, this is just yeah. getting worse. Okay, okay, I'm almost there. Wait, wait, it's in the corner. I got this. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm gonna do a second quest and I'm calling it. This is horrendous. Okay. Vanguard. Time to load Who, another Where's city. Cam's ME system? Uh... I don't fully know. She usually just goes in herself. Okay, where does she live? I don't think she has any raven feathers because we needed raven feathers recently. Okay, then we'll and... steal them from Ellie. But the other shit she has. Oh my god. Yeah. Kathy? <gasps> Bro, this is actually impossible. Kathy, no. I can't do this. My game is not letting me go up yeah, anything. It, yeah, this is actually horrendous. This it's is not pain. even like just the people on call it. Like I've been noticing like I keep pressing tab every once in a while and everyone's like internet is dying. It's not the internet, it's frame rate. Frame rate. All of our memories max out, numbass. Um, let me see if I can find any of this stuff in my house. 
Cam showed me where our main system was before. Hurts. My second day of school, I was in Spanish class. We were taking a test, and the teacher knew that I was new to school and told me to just try it, and I got a 50% on the test. F. <gasps> no, that's horrible. Nebula heart, nebula heart. I have four nebula hearts. Okay. Dude. I'll take care of two people, so we still need like two more nebula hearts. A blink plus or focus. This is not where Cam's ME system is? Where the fuck is her ME system, chat? In like the top part, there's like. Oh, no, I found it. Right, how do you turn it on? Oh, yeah, the switch. No? Oh, I'm frozen again. Second week of, and I already took two naps today, and it's only Monday. Yeah, Mondays are the roughest day of the week, though. From there on, it's like, you know. Because Monday, it's like you have the entire week ahead of you. Actually, no. Can't, it, fucking Cam's machine won't even turn on because it doesn't have any fucking power. Ooh. Wait, um, she might have a switch for that. No. T oh, yeah, she has a switch that just manifests fucking power. I don't know. How ME systems work. I just know sometimes there's a switch that you need to push for things. Yeah, when there is power. Okay. Um, no. Let me get my thumb. It was on for like a half second. But yeah, no, there's no energy in this bitch. It is entirely out. Where did I put. God, what Maybe the fuck, oh. Cam? Oh, because we went kind of folk I did. I, I believe it's a lesser focus. I have two. Holy fuck, man. Alright. Let me see if I actually have any of this shit sitting there. I don't. Yeah. Here, I, I only have the nebula hearts. I don't have anything. Oh my god, this is horrendous. We might just need to call it for today. Look at look look press tab and look at all of us. I think I'm just look gonna call it. I'm just gonna finish this quest next time, man. This is absolutely hor horrid. <laughs> god, we're all like. What? I'm not ending my stream. <sighs> I'm gonna end my stream in the grove. I'm not gonna end it in Raven Guard because that was a mistake. Unless I need to go there, I'm not going there. Hmm. Go to sub. Okay, um... Check Ovex machine, I'd rather die. <laughs> like, look at this chat. This ain't this ain't even funny. We can, like, move for three seconds, we'll freeze for five. Well, what is something someone does when they only have two bars? Bruh. Try. Close. And their stream, because this is suffering. No, 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 I like suffering. What? No. <laughs> how, can I, how can I prolong suffering? Ask yourself this question. Oh no, chopping off another arm. Yeah, yeah, but but no, no, please no. <laughs> None of us get the joke you're picking. You're trying to throw it on right now. Yeah. I'm gonna do parkour. Dude, why? If you're lagging. <laughs> yeah, that's act that's going to be so difficult. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh thank god, I have a boat on me. What? Right. And you want to go watch? <laughs> You're using yeah. boats to get there. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you meant in the thing, and I was about to slaughter you. <laughs> you think I'm there, bro. The I can't animal tell you me. are. What? I also don't have my. Oh, today my teacher said the bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. I can't believe they hit you with that. It's so cringe. <gasps> I had a teacher do that. They did not hit them with the fucking the bell doesn't dismiss you. I do. I do that. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically, and then they ask you to take it seriously. Right. Like, hey guys, actually, uh... I feel like your students hate you based on how you. All like, teachers say that. Describe. Why do all of your teachers hold you after class, man? <laughs> all, all, all my teachers just want me out their classroom. Like, I'm <laughs> sorry. Really I just, yeah. Get out. Very the bell ring, they just. All right, we're getting the fuck out of here. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm sorry that was really laggy today. There's not much I can do about that. We can just hope that it's better next time. But, uh, yeah, no. <sighs> she said it was a privilege that she let us leave a minute early. A minute early? Wow.
But yeah, take care, guys. Hope you've all had a good day or whatever, and I hope you enjoyed your time. See you guys in the next stream. Um, whether it's Mythos or not, we'll see. Take care, everybody. Peace.